hello my lovely people you're welcome back once again to my channel if you are seeing this video for the first time seeing this name this is tina so i'm a youtuber based in a in nigeria if you haven't subscribed and you want to join this family please feel free to subscribe and join this amazing family turn on the notification bell and at the same time give this video a thumbs up this is a special snail recipe which i am yet to see in any of the food channels like zilicious I'm yet to see in CC Yemi's channel and all the foodies. Yeah. So let them come. Come, come, CC Yemi is delicious. Let me teach you this special recipe. This recipe, this snail, if you prepare it for even the president of USA, hmm, you will never enter the Guinness Book of Records. I'm going to carry you guys along on how I got to this point. It's not just vegetable and snail. I'm going to tell you the secret to this, okay? So let's dive right into the video. Thank you. So like every other person, it's either you purchase from supermarket or you purchase from open market. So I went to an open market and requested for this particular one and I picked it, the three portions that you can see here for 3000 naira and usually i tell them to remove it from the shelf because i don't have energy <laughs> i don't have energy uh, you can see her packing it into the bowl to remove from the chair and when i get home i wash properly like i can wash it more than 10 times just to make sure that the slimy slimy stuff is out and i usually use alum to wash you can use gary or you can use uh, the feces from the snail but to save time, I just use alum and it's faster for me, faster for anybody that knows how to do this. And But the one thing I always do is that I make sure I wash severally and make sure that all those slimy, slimy stuff have gone because it it's irritates it, it can irritate. So you can see me here reconfirming that it's gone and I wash again and again and again and again. <laughs> God. so and i add them into the pots ready for cooking and after that you can see it in the pot i'm already putting it in the fire i'll cover to show you the recipes or the ingredients these are the ingredients i use my grinded crayfish sea salt dry pepper you can use a uh, red bell pepper because i don't have i don't want to give myself stress to start looking for it and that's my seasoning there so if you have red bell pepper you can go ahead and use it and after that this is enough onions and fresh tomato chopped fresh tomato and this is the secret to this recipe it's called otazi i don't know the english name though and this is pumpkin leaf okay ogo or vegetable or whatever you said to call it so you can see we are back here and it's boiling i've not added anything i just want to make sure that it's not bringing out the slimy stuff mm -hmm. that's why i've not added anything so and after that i come back and add my seasoning that's the first thing i usually add and i will not add other ingredients like my dry pepper crayfish it doesn't take so much of ingredients so it's very easy now i'm adding the onions but i'm not going to put all of it because okay i'm going to tell you why i'm not adding all the onions so you stir to make sure that you're not cheating any of the snail <laughs> so and cover after which you come back to add your um, fresh pepper and fresh tomato and I'm not adding all of this one as well. You can see I'm putting this aside and stir again and cover. Yeah, when you come back, this is what you're going to have. You can see it, it's gone. The water is dry. Now I'm adding the remaining onions and I will add the fresh tomato. The reason is that I want to see this yellowish and crispy uh, make it crisp when you're eating it now i'm adding the pumpkin leaf i stir i actually struggled to stir this <laughs> to stir this food you know why because i was just i was you holding my camera with one hand so 
because this is not a food channel. So I decided to show this fresh one that I've not seen in any of the food channels. So I'm struggling to hold my camera and at the same time do that. So maybe when we uh, grow, we we'll know how to set it up. Now you're putting the secret to this special recipe with the waters in. After eating this, my brother, my sister, your life will never remain the same. <laughs> so this is it, ready. After putting that, you put it down and here I am dish dishing it out. How are you feeling now? Are you salivating? I've eaten this food, but I'm feeling like I'm salivating. I'm salivating. Are you? This is so your malicious. Try it and come and tell me. If you're going to try it out, do let me know. If you have ever tried it out, do let me know. Because I remember I made this special recipe during my parents' golden jubilee celebration two years ago. And people were like, what did you use? It's so your malicious. If I had left the rice <laughs> for this and drank and left, there's the few persons I prepared it for. They said, this is more than enough. And I felt fulfilled that I had something unique to give to people. And that's mainly the reason why I decided to share this recipe. So if you're going to try it out, make sure you tag me to eat, telling whoever that is going to watch your video that you got this recipe from Tina Isoa. Because to be honest, I've not seen it anywhere. Okay? So use Otazi. It gives you this flavor that you want to drink so much of the water. Hmm? Hope you enjoyed this video. Have you subscribed up until this time? If you haven't subscribed, Please subscribe. I do a lot of content on IVF as an IVF mom of three. And yeah, I planned to go on a picnic with my family, but this is where we are. I do lifestyle videos as well. I do weary vlogs and I make some positive reaction videos. Yes, yeah, yeah. So this is the food. I met Oba, that's all you been. I wanted us to go for a picnic, but it didn't come. We're praying here, my people. <laughs> it didn't come, and I decided to like. No, it didn't come. Not because we didn't want to. The weather changed. It started raining. We had to do our picnic in the house. Our five men squad. My three kids, me and my husband. And this is one of the foods that if you give my kids, see my genius, see my John. Hey, this is one of the foods that if you serve my kids, you won't scream for them to eat it. And I feel anytime i cook and they are eating so you can come and join us okay you can see it as side babe in the plate <laughs> see my jess you know <laughs> this is one of the food that you won't scream for my kids to eat it and i always feel happy whenever i see them eating it out headed so guys subscribe and join this family we popped our chamdor and drank and married and enjoyed god bless you